Hi, I'm your shitty DM, and I am so excited right now. Somebody just gave me a just a great idea for a monster. Now, I was uh, in a discussion, and I was saying, how would you feel if uh, your party, while in a dungeon dwe- uh, dungeon delve, uh, they were taking a long rest, and during this time, a, a dungeon dweller came across them, decided to brick up the room that they were staying in, and then filled it with poison gas? Someone thought it was funny, but of course, the reasonable answer is, well, when the guy who's on... Uh, who's on watch during the long rest be able to notice that. And yeah, that's fairly reasonable. But then someone else said, just have a wall golem come by and block them in. And then, like, that kind of, uh, that kind of sat in my mind for a little bit, and then boom! Wall golem! That's fantastic, isn't it? Like, imagine just going down, like, a long hallway or something, and then, like, occasionally you'd see, like, a... like, kind of an arm holding a, uh, like, a halberd or a shield or some kind of weapon. And it'd be kind of like a friggin' uh, like John Cocteau arms or like something from Beauty and the Beast. And then like eventually, like the players are kind of used to this after a while, but then like just a section of the wall slides out and it's got like an angry face on it. And it's got weapons in both hands and it attacks them. And I thought, yeah, wall golem, that's amazing. So uh, let's see, before making this, I kind of drew up a uh, an artist's rendition of it. This is the uh, first... Uh, or first edition. I'll probably be uh, redrawing this sometime soon. So yeah, the general idea is that, uh, let's see, yeah, you just got a, it's made out of a section of wall, some kind of brick or stone, but you have a shield in one hand and a glaive in the other. That's just kind of like a oddly shaped because of the uh, kind of desert culture that I'm thinking about putting this in my campaign for. So, mm, boy, so, uh, yeah, I'd probably have a high natural armor class from the from the body, and uh, the shield would uh, definitely make it harder to hit, but, uh, let's see, maybe it'd be, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, probably be something around uh, 16 or 15, because, like, even if it's uh, pretty tall, or, like, uh, pretty, like, uh, durable to start with, I think that'd be reflected more in, like, a high constitution rather than a starting high armor class. And then the shield, that's, uh, I don't know, kind of be for decoration, kind of be for, like, uh, actual quality. And uh, the glaive, it'd give it good reach, at least, and uh, they're D10 weapons, so they're pretty good. And uh, I, uh, let's see, this card that I put it on, let's see, it's, uh, like, it'd be, on my mat, it's three squares thick, but it's only one square thin, or, uh, like, deep, rather. And I was thinking that it'd be, like, a, a 15 by 15 foot monster, but then with the depth, it'd only be one, it'd only be like, uh, five feet deep, so, uh, I mean, yeah, that's, uh, that's just like one, uh, one square deep on the, uh, battle map. So then, like, uh, yeah, like, uh, enemies, they could, like, hide around it, and then, like, they could, like, maybe, uh, come around, like, uh, take, uh, peek shots at, at the players from behind the wall, and, like, uh, if it had to move around, then because it's so heavy... Then it'd be uh, it'd probably take like a uh, five feet for uh, each uh, for each like a uh, ninety degree turn that I had to make. Uh, yeah, I'm generally thinking about this in terms of uh, grid combat and that kind of thing because I mostly uh, yeah I just always do grid combat when I can help it, and uh, yeah that's just uh, generally how I think about D and D or well no that's not that's not uh, that's not entirely accurate that's mostly how I think about uh, combat in D and D. So uh. Yeah, let's see, what else? Because it's a golem, it'd uh, probably be magical, and it'd be, uh, let's see. Yeah, it'd have resistance to stuff like, uh, uh, have resistance to non-magical we- weapons, uh, especially like, uh, like piercing and slashing weapons, probably be, uh, no good on this. Uh, what else? Hmm. Yeah, most, uh, most, uh, general construct and golem rules would probably apply, uh, yeah, and then uh, for the uh, final attack, it could just, like, uh, fall over on the uh, party, and they'd have to make, like, a strength check or something in order to, like, not get crushed by, and then that'd be, like, massive damage. So that'd be uh, another aspect for uh, fighting it to watch out for. And, uh, yeah, this is just, like, a, this is just kind of something that kind of came up, and I'm really excited about it now. I really want to put this in my game. You know, it just kind of shows that uh, inspiration can strike any time, and you, know, you just have to be able to, like... Uh, think it through for a little bit and then boom something comes to you i'm really i'm really happy with this so yeah uh thanks for watching uh if you want to put this in your game think about it and like uh, maybe comment on the video or something uh not so good at the uh kind of youtube stuff so uh
Yeah, whatever. This is fun.